what happens to trust assets in a divorce or in the alternative, can you use a trust to avoid losing assets in a divorce? Now, this is a question that has come up for one of our viewers. I want to address it in a general way. So much of divorce and family law is state law driven, and we actually have two relatively different systems, even here within the U.S., having a community property and equitable distribution systems in different states, that it is hard to address this in a blanket way. But I do want to address some of the core issues, which is just because you set up a trust and put assets in it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody can't challenge where those assets came from. In fact, one of the things we've talked about here on the channel in the past is asset protection and how doing asset transfers generally has to happen before an event happens. And we're usually thinking about liability versus divorce. But very similar, once you're in a marriage and you are building assets together, perhaps they're community property, perhaps they're just equitably part of the marriage, if you start trying to move those assets around and plan with them without the consent of your spouse, you may run into issues later under your state law. So it's something you really need to plan around and get a good legalized on it, depending on what you're trying to do. With the consent of your spouse, generally you can do post-nuptial agreements. Maybe you have a pre-nuptial agreement that applies, if that's the case. There can be ways to do this. Perhaps you've maintained separate property accounts through the marriage. This is true for wealthier couples that have been remarried. We see this a lot. There are ways to do it. But in general, just setting up a trust and moving assets to a trust is not necessarily going to bypass your state family law. So that is still going to be in play. It may change what happens to those assets in the trust in the event of a divorce. There is going to have to be consideration for that. So build a good plan. And that means working with a lawyer you're choosing, sitting down and really thinking about what assets you have, what you want to protect, how you want to do it, and building a comprehensive plan that includes planning for the fact that you may or may not be married and how that works. Now, if you're in a situation where you are looking to get married in the future and thinking about that potential future divorce, then your lawyer probably has more tools in the tool chest and it's a better time for planning. So jump into it, get some good advice, and really think about what you're doing. If you have questions, leave them below. But as always, I mentioned on this channel, questions are not confidential on public social media. So if you make comments or questions, other people can see them. For confidential conversations, reach out directly to an attorney of your choosing. Keep your comments general. And I hope you subscribe to the channel for more tips here in the near future.